All right, cold pack walk-in cooler is what we got. Walk in here and there's no fan running. Not locked up. Uh, we can kill these fans here. And let's take this cover off and see if we've just got a wiring problem. Yep, real quick. All right, so just kind of... Um, we're training a new employee who is my hands while I'm still... Mm-hmm. Um, so what we did was this fan was dead. So we pulled the fan. We pulled the bracket. Um, where did we put... I don't see where he put the blade in the... Okay, there's that. Perfect. And you assume you have a bad fan, but how do you check it? Well... We disconnected our fan, we connected our meter leads to that, set our meter on voltage, and then uh, we looked at the tag and said, okay, we have two 35 watt fans, 115 volts, fired up. And when we fired it up, we had 120 volts at our meter. So we knew that was what it was going to be, but from a training perspective, you know, I'm trying to cover all your bases. What if one of those wires is disconnected in there and it's not a voltage problem at all, it's a wiring problem. So then you're going to get a motor for no, no, no need. This way, uh, we've got that cap until we get back. We're going to go grab the correct motor because this is an ECM motor. I don't carry those on the truck. All right, so when, when putting these spider brackets back on, is what I call them, um, every time you push against it, it pops inside. So I take a piece of twine and I wrap it around the actual bracket and then run it through. And then that lets me hold it to pull the bracket towards us while we tighten it up. And there you have it.